In today's project, I'm going to show you how to make a remote control box for your modified kayak trolling motor. Now this is the finished product right here. It's in a 4x4 outdoor electrical box that I got at Home Depot and you can get it at Lowe's and I'll explain this finished product. You can see I've still got my normal switch setting which is five in the forward direction and three in the reverse and I actually added a voltage meter here. Now if we open it up you see the inside of the box and the hole there is just to run your wiring or however you want to attach it to your kayak. Now on the back side here this is the switch that's contained inside your stock trolling motor and it's the same if you have a Minn Kota or a Newport Vessels. And then this is the back side of my voltage meter. And as I turn it sideways, you can see that's how it's mounted in there. And you can see here that it has almost like a key shape to it. And that's really important because when you make your cut to put this through the face of your new remote control, by cutting it in that key shape, it'll keep it from twisting when you go through your gear shifts like this. Because it is kind of hard, as you know, with the trolling motors. And then also what you do is when you cut that key-shaped slot, when I inserted the whole thing, I added just a little bit of epoxy in there where the switch actually meets the back of the face of this box. So I'll show you how the pieces go together to make this. Okay, so this is just the standard box. It's about 4 or $5. You can see no holes in it. It's got some mounting tabs if you want to use those. I removed them. And again, let's open it up. The four screws are inside. And you can see the black rubber insulation that helps seal this box from moisture. Okay, so here's the head that's been removed from the Minn Kota Endura C2 30 pound. Now I've already gone ahead and removed the screws that hold the top together, so I'll just remove it. And this is what you're going to see inside. Obviously, I've already done some work to it, but basically, this is what you're going to see inside. You've got your handle and your control, and this is your switch right in here with all your electrical connectors on it. And all you're going to do is remove it from the inside, and then just pull this off here from the shaft and this control arm. So this is what you're going to be left with, this switch right here. And it shows all your electrical tabs that you're going to do your connections to. Okay, so here's the electrical control switch after it's been removed from the head. Let's see if I can get a better focus here for you. And you look on the underside here, you see all the tabs that you make your electrical connections to. And you don't have to worry if you forgot which color went to which because they're labeled below each electrical tab. Now this quarter inch half moon slot is how you change your speeds on the trolling motor. So that's where your knob's going to go on to. Now when you drill your hole to go through the top back of the faceplate of your new box, you want to use this diameter here as the hole because you want this part, the top part, of this switch to be flush to the back of the faceplate because what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of epoxy on that just to keep it from moving around and then you can see there's kind of a slot key looking thing here and you have to make sure that you cut a circle and then I use a little small hacksaw blade to make that key shape there so that tab will slide through and that also keeps the switch from turning when you're changing speeds. So that's about it 
on the switch.